Vermont Woods, would be that he's very caring to the students at the school, very knowledgeable about where kids need to be after high school. Um, pretty helpful when I've had some questions about my future here at the school. I think he generally just, when kids are talking to him, he actually gives them the eye contact that, that he shows them that he thinks he cares um, without, he kind of comes down on high school level kids, you know, just being able to explain situations and what they're going to need as they grow. Woods is quite possibly the nicest person I know, and he knows every single person around anywhere. You could be in Falmouth, Massachusetts, and everybody would be like, Woods! And then always following that is a hug, a gigantic hug by Mr. Woods. He's seriously the nicest person in the world. Woods, you need to stop smiling so much. I think the biggest impact that Lamont Woods has on our school is really in the athletic department. Um, he came in and he's been meeting with Mr. Garrison and they've been doing a lot of discussions as to how can we um, improve the athletic department. So I think that's huge. Um, I think with the students, he relates well to students and that they feel comfortable talking to him. Kids aren't afraid to come to him and say whatever they want to. Um, as far as his relationship with teachers, um, I think that he is always there to listen. I know that when I've had ideas, especially with my volleyball leadership group, um, and I've approached him for help, that he's come through right away and helped us with what we're trying to do. Um, and he's very supportive in everything that we do. Hey Woods, it's Keller. <laughs> so just uh, wanted to say I am really super duper glad you're here this year. Um, it's been a great year getting to know you. You've brought a lot of energy into the CCTE program here at Heritage and pushing for us to do more and go further. And I'm looking forward to many more years working with you. I'm Lamont Woods and this is my story. Come on in! So I think for me it was, so I'm the youngest of five, and so I felt like I, I had to do it. It was part of what like my mom made us do, like you had to do something. That was part of the thing my mom made us do. Like if you're just going to be home doing nothing, you're also going to be doing something. And so we were really close with the Boys and Girls Club growing up, and so that was like kind of how I got started with sports too. And we were a super competitive family too, so that was kind of the how uh, they implemented the time in sports. High school, you had asked earlier kind of like the process from high school. I was a two-time state champion, three-time state champion coming out of high school for track in the 100 and 200. And then so I had some options if I was going to just do track or football. And I decided to Or basketball. I was really good. I, yeah, no, he could have gone I could, but I was not very good at basketball. I was not. I was like all defense. Couldn't shoot very good. <laughs> <laughs> but I could probably play because you know, I was really athletic. Yeah, but you were recruited for basketball. Yeah, but I wasn't. You could have. Well, I wasn't. 
he was like, like in the newspaper every weekend. Oh, Seriously. Listen, you I were. Was, no, not for basketball, not. I'm just saying for sports. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that kind of led me to like why I went to college because the opportunity for the scholarship. So it started probably my sophomore year when I got recruited by a lot of different schools. But it really started my senior year when I actually took my official visits. So I took it to Oregon State, University of Washington, Oregon State, um, Cal, and another one that I took. And, but um, what stood out to me was University of Oregon because my brother went there and my sister went there too. And so that I kind of knew like the, like the atmosphere, the coaches, I kind of knew everything there. So I felt really comfortable with what I was going to. And then I could do two sports there too. So I could do track and I could do football too. So that was like a perfect fit. The other choice I was going to go is the University of Washington. That was my going back and forth between those two. And I chose the best school to go to. <laughs> so it worked out well. Well, I went to Oregon State and he went to U of O. So we went to separate schools. And so it was actually great because I had my own life and he had his own. It was great, <laughs> you know, that way you could kind of do your own thing and have, uh, you know, your own identity, but still have your relationship too. It was, it was just healthier, I would say. So, what except for when we played, <laughs> you know, when was you know, yeah, that was tough. That's so I would cheer for him to do well, but for Oshie to win. <laughs> Did you guys win? <laughs> funny color school that you're from. Funny color. Funny color. Is that you? That's me. My look and take pictures. I don't know. I want to see that. I don't even remember that. Is that who is that? This is my freshman. Just the normal. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see this. Yeah, that's my freshman year. I just want to see that. I don't have my glasses on, which that's it right there. I wish you were. OCU turning 1993 to 94. Dang, this is a lot I think that might have been my senior year. This was my junior year. Wait, this is your freshman? That's freshman. Yeah. That's funny. I cheered for Fort Union. I cheered for four years and then I actually stayed and coached for two, so I was there a long time. Just the experience of being able to travel and um, meet lots of people and be a part of all the sporting events. So. Are you guys good? <laughs> we took her down to like, like first in Bergen got her started with like soccer. Soccer was like the like first sport. No, it was it gymnastics? I think we did gymnastics. Right? I did gymnastics. Gymnastics was first. It was made enough. And then when she was three years old, I worked at CPS. Remember, and uh, my friend. Uh, Amy uh -huh. had her son Will, and he she was signing her son up for soccer, and said, "Hey, Ma you know you should sign Michaela up." And so that's how, and it was indoor Clark. Yep, that was Michaela, and then. University of Washington sophomore year so I guess that's pretty early so sophomore year is like just a verbal commitment so I didn't sign any papers or anything but that's just when the coach calls you and they offer you you know and they say why don't you come here and I said that I want to go there and so um, then February 7th I think it was is the official signing day and that is when I signed and the whole like actual official process began. Um, Oregon, Oregon State, UP. That was like my main group of schools because that was the area that I was looking at. Because like as you guys can see, that we're like very family oriented. Like our family's so close. Like I rarely like go out of my house because I'm always with my family. 
So I was like, you know what, I want to be somewhere close, but not too close. It'll be fine when she's gone. It's just like the opportunity to close. She's stuck on this whole thing because she wears my clothes every day of her life. <laughs> yeah, that's in the art. That's why she's cool. <laughs> I feel like it really is kind of sad. Because I'm the coolest sister. Well, I would say that. I'd say you guys are just both like. <laughs> I, well, I can't pick. <laughs> you guys are both like, yeah, I'm hurt. I wouldn't say I pick you because you're supposed to be like, me and Macy like talk over like, sometimes like really immature funny stuff. It's, <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I said we used to talk about some like immature like kid funny stuff. Well, you're an adult, Kayla. I'm not an adult. I'm yeah, so funny. Yeah. When I just did before, you got to use those immature <laughs> <things. laughs> So don't even call me like that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, so don't even say that. I'm funny, like, you caught me like at a really hard time because she is going to school tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm most proud of them for sure. <coughs> I might say it's either Macy or Mikhail. I think it depends on the moment because Mikhail can get really like serious. But so can Macy. Macy yeah, but Mikhail. Macy is the ultimate. She is the funniest. Yeah, yeah, Macy. Macy is so hilarious. I like to laugh. Maya. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Macy is so hilarious. 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 <laughs> yeah, my my is mine. Oh, my 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 Oh my gosh. She like interrupts you. I feel like they're all. No, she won't. Yeah. She's not like that, though. Like, she just talks a lot. They're all, they all have great, like, unique things about them. Macy, again, super funny, just very focused and, like, organizes everything. She's gonna organize everything for the family. Mm -hmm. Maya's the best cook and cleaner in the house. So we'll love that. She takes care of the family. Thanksgiving dinners <laughs> will be at, at Maya's house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Michaela. She's gonna be the party girl, so you know, <laughs> she's, gonna, she's gonna make sure she's gonna organize it and where it's gonna be at. But they all have such great qualities. Like, shit, I mean, totally. But anyways, they all have great qualities about them. Like I can't, I don't know. It's like that's there's so much about each one of them that I kind of ignore. It's stuff. really cute because they're very, they're all alike, but they're all very different. You know, they yeah. all have their own wonderful things about them. So. Yeah, like kind-hearted, yeah. all sweet. Just, yeah. My favorite thing about Michaela is she is um, very kind. She yeah. is uh, worries about you know somebody on the street or anything like that. So I would say her kindness. Yeah. Maya, my favorite thing about Maya would be that she um, makes me laugh and she's just kind of always around me. Like you're kind of my partner. <laughs> <laughs> And then Macy, I uh, I love how um, focused and driven she is. Like she's just very, uh, she knows what she wants. And that's a, yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. Mm -hmm. Okay. My favorite thing is that he is positive one hundred and ten percent of the time. You're always positive, even if it's like a something <laughs> yeah. upsetting or sad or you, know, you find the good. You're just yeah. like your mom. I mean, you yeah. find. Yeah. You know, I agree. Yeah. And I would say that you're the most kindest and generous person ever. Like she'll do yeah, anything for you. Anything for anyone, anyone, anytime. Even when they don't need everything. Basically, just stay focused, stay on the path, 
and use your resources that you have around you and surround yourself with good people. I think that's a super important thing as you go through the process, no matter how it looks. And then also have good faith. I think faith will help you get through a lot of these things too.